Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. If you want to learn more about how to analyze mechanisms using analytical method, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to solve 4 bar mechanism static force problem. The uniform bar of mass M is held in the inclined position theta by the horizontal force F applied to the link AB and BC whose masses are negligible. For the position shown where AB is perpendicular to AO and BC is perpendicular to the bar, determine F. So in this problem given is a uniform bar of mass M and length L is arranged in this position by two links BC and BA and a force F is applied at point B. So the bar BC the link BC and link AB are of negligible weight and the link CB is perpendicular to this uniform bar here and the link BA is perpendicular to horizontal. So to keep this bar in this position uh, we need to find the amount of F. Let us see in the coming slides how to derive an expression uh, to for this uh, equilibrium. First let us see forces and reactions. So the bar uh, this uniform bar of mass M that is its weight is going to act vertically downwards from the center of the bar. So the, the distance from O to the center point is L by 2 since the total length is L. So there is a force F is applied at point B and due to this force the, uh, this link CB will experience a compression. So the reaction of FBC that is a compressive force in CB is shown here. So, so on this uniform bar there is a weight acting uh, from the center of the bar uh, vertically downwards and a reaction FBC is acting perpendicular to this bar at a length h from O. So now let us take moments about O for this uniform bar. So the moment due to this weight W can be written as uh, the w, w into this distance that is uh, since this length is L by 2 and this angle is theta so this distance will be L by 2 cos theta and the weight is acting downwards. So the moment due to uh, the weight of the bar uh, about O can be written as W into L by 2 cos theta. So that is opposed by this react, reaction FBC at this point. So the moment due to FBC about O can be written as FBC and this length H since this is acting perpendicular to this bar. So that is written here W into L by 2 cos theta equal to FBC into H. So from this we can write FBC equal to MGL cos theta by 2 H. So W can be written as M into G. M is mass and G is acceleration due to gravity. Now let us consider link AB. So on this link AB there is a horizontal force F is acting at point B. So the length of AB is B and FBC the reaction force of BC is acting at an angle 90 minus theta at point B towards this direction. So let us construct a triangle here. So this link this is one side and from here to here let us draw a line here. So since this angle is theta angle between this bar and this line will be theta and this angle is 90. So this angle will become 90 minus theta. So now let us uh, take moments about O about A for this link AB. So sigma MA equal to 0. So F into this length B F into B equal to FBC the component of FBC along horizontal will be FBC cos 90 minus theta and the length here is B. So moment due to FBC about A can be written as FBC cos 90 minus theta into B. So from this again we can write FBC equal to F by sin theta. So in the previous slide we have seen FBC equal to MGL cos theta by 2H. Let us equate uh, the previous equation and this equation. So we get F by sin theta equal to MGL cos theta by 2H. So after rearranging this we can write F equal to MGL sin theta cos theta by 2H. So we can further simplify this uh, sin theta cos theta. So we can write this e uh, equation as F equal to MGL sin 2 theta by 4H. So this is the required expression. 
that's all for today's video if you like this content please like share and subscribe thanks for watching